As Ukraine's president pleads for more help from the U.S., North Carolina's leaders say they want to do that, but do it without escalating the conflict into another world war. Our Capitol reporter Michael Hyland is live in Raleigh. Michael, you talk with members of Congress after they heard directly from President Zelensky. What are they saying? They agree there is more the U.S. can do to help Ukraine. However, they remain concerned about their president calling for a no-fly zone. A bipartisan standing ovation in Congress as Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky asks for help and shows the devastation Russia is causing. Being the leader of the world means to be the leader of peace. We should use every possible option to arm and equip the Ukrainian people. Republican Senator Tom Tillis said despite Zelensky's request, he doesn't support a no-fly zone. Then you're talking about a response from a NATO country, which lays a predicate for World War III. It would constitute um, a, uh, a, a much wider war immediately. That doesn't mean you couldn't contribute to their air defenses. Democratic Congressman David Price said he supports trying to find a way to transfer additional fighter jets from Poland. That is, of course, uh, difficult because of how you how you do this. And also the disruption with the airfields in Ukraine, exactly how, how much uh, they could use this equipment and where. Tillis called for additional sanctions on Russia, saying they're working and to sanction any country that helps Russia. For every dollar of aid that goes to Russia in any form, there should be a thousand time consequence for any nation that would actually do that. Senator Tillis also supported a resolution the Senate passed calling for Putin to be investigated for war crimes. He says the sanctions on Russia should stay in place even after the attacks on Ukraine stop. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you. Today, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper signed an executive order that establishes a cybersecurity task force. Several agencies, including emergency management and the North Carolina National Guard, make up this task force. They will provide support and technical assistance to state and local government agencies, as well as schools and universities that have been the target of significant cybersecurity incidents. North Carolina recorded its 20. 20